Okay, Professor Luby here. I'm just going to make a quick video on links and broken links and everything that goes involved. There's considerable background that students are responsible for to even understand this. And that's all in the reading, that's all in the directions. And I will not repeat that here. In computer science, it's, it's unfortunately, it's necessary that we continually reread past materials. So not only Linux Lab 3, but Linux Lab 2B, Linux Lab 2A, and the required readings. So as you see, I'm logged in. Here's my prompt. I'm on the Academic server. We know that the tilde means I'm in my home directory. And I'll just begin. I'll give it focus into this window and type ls. But of course, when we're working with links, directories, and things like this, the standard basic ls listing doesn't give us enough information. So I see my broken link here. Note that this is not a broken link. It is in red, but that is a compressed file and we'll get there in a few more labs. So I'm gonna do an LS with the long listing option. And again, it's critical that you understand the distinction between a command and an option and an argument. I won't repeat that here. That's in Linux Lab 2B as well as the required reading. So I have a broken link. What do I do? Well. In Linux Lab 3, it tells you that links in the reading as well are treated as files. You should know how to remove a file. And of course I can link to a directory as well. And you know how to remove a directory. Both of these were in LL2B. But let's look at the possible causes, okay? So I have this file name of the link, broken link, and it's pointing to CISS100, James Luby, Luby James LL dot text. Well, the first thing you should do, and this is what I'll need, by the way, to assist you should you require assistance, I need to see what's in that directory. So a couple ways I can do this. I'll do it directly. I'll go ls, the path name, CISS100, subdirectory, James Luby. And I see that that subdirectory, CISS100, James Luby, has a Luby James LL dot back and a Luby James LL dot text Z, again, which is a compressed file. So this is trying to link to a file, Luby James LL dot text, which does not exist. Recall in Linux and computer science, we must be precise. If I were to try to create a link and just even mistype one of these letters, James Luby, um, excuse me, Luby James LL with small L's. That would be incorrect. It would create a broken link. So the other way to look at those, the contents of that directory, of course, would be to change directory to the CISS 100, change directory to James Luby. And of course you'd have to change this for, to be in accord with your directory structure. And then of course I'd do an LS minus L and there are my two files that are the contents of that subdirectory. And again, note, when I change directories, my prompt will now reflect my present working directory. So I'm gonna go back to my home directory, okay? Do another ls minus l, and you'll see that I use listings conspicuously. Every time I create a file, every time I remove a file or directory, Every time I move or change directories into a new directory, I will perform a listing, okay? And again, that's what I need to assist you. I cannot, as computer scientists, we do not guess. We go on concrete facts. So I'll do another LS, or actually I just did it, so I won't do that, but I need to remove that broken link. What are links? How are they treated? As files, RM broken link. As soon as I do that, first thing I do, ls, I just did a basic ls, just to make sure it's not there. And now I'm going to create it again. Let's see if I can remember this, um, the full pathway that is, and ls. I'm creating a link, a soft link, source. The source file is the file I'm trying to link to, okay? There is no Luby James ll.txt, okay? So if I was creating a true link, I would actually choose something from that directory. So I think I had Jane or Luby James LL dot back. Okay, 
So I've, I've said that, but I'm actually gonna recreate the broken link just so I leave this broken link in my directory structure so it's reflected correctly in future videos. So the source, CISS 100, James Luby, right? That's the path. And then I chose Luby James LL.text, which of course does not exist. If I wanted to create a true link to the dot backup file, I of course would change the dot text to dot back. And again, I will choose oh something. I could name it anything. I could say Luby James link, anything. I'm creating this link, the naming structure. So again, I will just say broken link. Immediately I do a long listing. And there's my broken link recreated. But in that I did describe again, as I described in the Linux Lab 3 directions, how to correctly create the link. But I gave you some pointers there on how to detect just even small changes in spelling, small changes in the path name. Everything must be precise. So I hope this helps. Thanks and see everyone soon. Bye-bye.